Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Praveen Kumar Sriram. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Author, currently working as a Solutions Architect and Ensure. Today we are going to learn another design pattern in BICEP called Shared Variable File. Before I explain what this design pattern is all about, let's understand what we have done in our previous videos. Let's switch back to Visual Studio Code where we write all the bicep code. I've already created a folder for this video and named it as 45.azure bicep design pattern 2, which is shared variable file. And I already opened bicep param file that we have learned in our previous video. Here, as you can see, in all the values of the parameters, one thing that we have done is we have specified the environment name called PRD in all the three values of the three parameters. And at the same time, we also hard coded different things like for app service plan, we have used ASP. For app service, we have used web app. For app insights, we have used AI. Now in real world, you might have many such parameters and its values. And everywhere you might have hard coded different items in the naming conventions. Right? So today we are going to learn how to avoid the duplicates in your Azure resource naming conventions. Let's get started. And we are going to solve this problem using the design pattern called shared variable file. As the name says, we are going to create a new file which contains all the values of these variables. Let me create a new file in this folder. I'll call it as shared variables dot json. Now let's get started creating all the different uh, maybe prefixes or abbreviations, whatever you want to call it in this json. So I'll start working with app service plan prefix. So in our code, we have used ASP. Maybe let me make some room here and split the window so that we can see both at the same time. The first one is ASP, then app service prefix. I would say web app for app service, and then storage, storage prefix. We don't have storage. Maybe I will use app insights prefix. I would say AI. These are the prefixes that we want to use in our parameter files. Okay. So now let's understand how to retrieve all these or how to load all these prefixes available in shared variables.json file into the bicep param file. It's very simple. All we need is to create a variable. Maybe we'll call it as prefixes equal to and here within bicep param bicep allows us to load json content of course there are other uh, functions that are also possible to load from different types of files for example here you can load from text file here you can load from yaml file as well ours is json file 
So open this and here specify the path of the shared variables dot json. It must be enclosed in single quotes, of course. We can double check the path. I have added shared variables.json and bicep file, both of them in the same location. So we don't have to specify any relative path. Directly you can specify the name of the file, which is good. Now we can start using the variable prefixes wherever we want. So first thing is we don't want ASP here. So remove this. And because it is a dynamic thing, we need to use interpolation. Dollar curly brace open, curly brace close, and then in the middle, use the prefixes variable and then dot. Now you see we get all these three prefixes. Now we would like to use app service plan prefix. That's it. Very similarly. I would like to use this for web app as well. And change the prefix from app service plan prefix to app service prefix. Here I changed the app inside prefix as well. Now, the advantage of this pattern is tomorrow, if you want to add more app services, then you don't have to specify web app everywhere in the middle of the name. Even for this, if you think that AZ Bicep, let's say this is our project name or application name, maybe you can have one more prefix. Maybe in general, application name should come at the beginning. So I would say project name prefix. Here I'm adding, I'm using AZ Bicep as the project name, but in real world, it would be different completely. So here, as you can see, AZ Bicep is duplicated in three different places. Instead of duplicating, what I can do is I can make it dynamic using interpolation prefixes dot. I did not save it yet, so let me save this change. Once I save it, I should see that here. Project name prefix, that's it. Now copy paste this everywhere in all the three places. This is much cleaner. So if you want to change the project name, all you need is make a change in one place. You don't have to change in all other places. Similarly, you can keep changing the rest of the other items as well. Maybe for example, location prefix, right? You can add one prefix here and use that here instead of duplicating it everywhere. That's it. Now, if you run it, it will take all these values from the prefixes and you can keep changing as per your requirements very quickly. So this design pattern helps you in writing clean code as well as it will be productive in case if you think that there are changes that your client is suggesting then you can make those changes in just one single place that's it for this video i hope you like the content if you have any feedback please feel free to share your feedback in the comment section i will see you in next video thank you for your time thanks for watching bye bye